Hi, my name is Laura Rosignol and I am a professional photographer. I have been one for over 30 years. Um, this is some of my work. I shoot lifestyle and fashion and uh, advertising. I've worked all over the country. I've lived in New York for many years and I recently moved to South Carolina to actually work on my love for selling vintage. So I have a vintage shop on Etsy called Fresh Pie. Um, so everybody loves fresh pie and um and it's an eclectic mix of mid-century a lot of uh antiques thrown in a lot of photography and cameras etc and so this is a little glimpse of my shop there's a link below and i thought i would do a vlog for resellers focused on photography and improving your photography because for me it really does help me be successful selling online and um, so I thought I would start out with a fun little simple hack for your labels. And you will need Photoshop or some kind of editing software for this. And um, it's very simple. So I print my labels on a Dymo printer and I use uh, a screenshot. Well, as soon as I buy a label from Etsy, it comes with this kind of annoying little carbon offset shipping plug thing that Etsy does. Um, but you can cover that up and this is a great opportunity to add a little branding to your shipping label um, when you're sending them out. Now, if you're doing a ton of shipping, this might be a little too labor intensive, but once you have it set up, it's really pretty easy. And um, I find it to be no problem. So you also, I also use Pirate Ship. It has a blank space here. So you can also do this for eBay labels, Pirate Ship labels whatever you want to do. But as I said, I take a screenshot after I download my label um, and then I start with that. You're going to use the marquee tool. You want to make sure that it's on square, the square. And this is just to get the size over here. This is the way I did it. You only have to do this one time or, you know, and then you can just copy and create different labels that you want to create. After you get the size that you want, and the screenshot is, I know basically the size of my screen is going to be the same all the time occasionally the emit like the pirate ship one is a little smaller so i will just make the label a little bit smaller um once you know i do that it's pretty easy to compensate but i'm moving that marquee over to this blank area of the screen you can see i blurred out the name of the seller but this is the actual shipping label and then um, just simply copy that. So I'm hitting Command Copy. And then go up to uh, File, New, and you will see the clipboard of that size that you just created. Hit OK, and you've created a um, base for your label. And then you can just turn this, rotate it uh, clockwise or clockwise, doesn't matter, and then use the Type tool I put in what I want to put down here. And so my finish one looks like this. Then I turn it back to vertical. So it's the same size as the image. For the holidays, I did happy holidays, y'all. I'll just do fresh pie vintage or thank you from fresh pie vintage. You can put whatever you want to do in that label. And the horse is one of my, is my little um, logo. So that works really great. So once you've done that and created this, like I said, you can save this as a Photoshop file and then, you know, redo another label. You don't have to do that first part again. But once it's done, then you can just take it, drop it, drag it right over and drop it into that section. And it should fit perfectly. And you can, oh, let's deselect that. And then you can, um, you know, nudge it if you need to. And then I just simply go up and save it for web. And then I can put the name of, I put the name of what the item was. So I would put the item name here and um, save it to my desktop. So, uh, okay, user, I don't know why that's doing that. All right. Okay, here we go. Save it to desktop. So, um, 
I had to pull one out of the trash to show you. So, um, so there it is. The item is right here and it's ready to print. Now the next step, this is kind of important, is throw that screenshot away. If you're doing multiple items, you don't want to get your, your screenshots you know, mixed up. So I try to remember to do that every time because I've almost sent the wrong item. Then I can just open it. The name is there. And when I hook it up to my Dymo printer, it will print out perfectly. So simple little hack. Great for adding some branding. Very simple to do. Like I said, if you do multiple, but I just sit there and do all of them at once. And then I go and print them all at once. So I get all my packages together, do the labels, sit down, do the labels. And it's really a pretty easy process, even when I have a lot of packages to ship. So thank you very much for watching. If you could follow me, that would be great. Um, I'm new to YouTube. So, um, you know, I think I'm, will bring some more information about taking pictures and how you can make your uh, shops look great. And thank you for watching.